New at 10, a mother in Newton County had a dying wish to see her son's killer brought to justice. But 62-year-old Evelyn Clark passed away before investigators could make an arrest in the 2015 cold case. 12 News reporter Tyler Segeman looks into what happened to Dexter Diggles. Erica and Kevin, I sat down with Evelyn Clark about two months ago when I first started working on this story. Sadly, she died last week. Her family agreed to let us share her interview in the hopes that Dexter Diggles' killer will finally be found. It's not a good feeling, and I wouldn't wish this on no mother. For Evelyn Clark, the image of one child consumed her with terror. 29-year-old Dexter Diggles was her son. Dexter was very friendly. He had a lot of friends. If we had enemies, I didn't know nothing about him. On the evening of November 15th, 2015, Clark was cooking at her home in Call. Shortly after 3 p.m., she got a knock on her door that would change her life. She knocked on the door with her mom. They both told me that, ma'am, I'm sorry, but your son out here dead. I said, who, where? And that's when they showed me Dexter, and that's when I called 911. Clark found her son lying on the ground near his car. It haunts me. I have to stay. I still stay up at night. I stay up every night. I can't sleep at night. I have not slept since Dexter died. Former Newton County Sheriff Eddie Shannon led the investigation, but ultimately decided to close the case. Then, Sheriff Billy Roll stepped in. He said, when I become sheriff, I'll make it my priority. And he opened the case. I had dealings with this lady when I was running for sheriff, and she made several contacts with me to see if we, once we got into office, if we could get involved in it, and, and of course we did. Sheriff Rolls opened the case shortly after taking office in 2017. He tells us Diggles died from being shot once in the head. She goes down to inspect, look at him, and lo and behold, he's got a, a bullet hole in his head. Went from one side to the other. In the summer of 2017, the Noon County Sheriff's Office had a person of interest. That fell through, and now deputies are back to square one. As we are right now, we do not have a solid suspect in this case. Clark tells us Diggles worked in construction and just arrived home from work on Saturday, November 14th of 2015. She left to go visit someone in the hospital, not knowing it would be the last time she would see her son. I took him to work Saturday morning and picked him up Saturday evening, brought him home, and I said, babe, I'm going to go see my pastor in the hospital. He said, okay, mama. And I left, and I came back home at 11 o'clock that night. Sheriff Rolls believes Diggles was shot and killed sometime Saturday night, but wasn't discovered until Sunday evening. His the car was there. He was laying on the off side of the car from where she pulled in and, and didn't see the, didn't see Dexter laying there. Yeah, he was right here. Clark felt her son wasn't killed outside her home, but dropped off. You know how you just lay a baby down? That's how Dexter was laid now. His clothes weren't disturbed or nothing. The person who killed Diggles is still out there. Even though the police department tell me I'm okay, but I don't feel safe. I put a fence around my house. I put more security lights on, and I uh, have a alarm system because uh, I'm not, I'm not going to feel safe until they find the person that killed my child. Sheriff Rule says he won't rest until they are found. Well, I, I would love to look the camera in the eye and say there's somebody out there that knows what happened. And uh, I would give anything in the world for the family uh, to be able to solve this. I'm not mad at the person that done it. I forgive the person. I just want the person to come forth and say I did it. And I want to know why. And that's all I want is justice. That's all I want. Evelyn Clark recently began her second battle with colon cancer after being in remission for 25 years. Again, she died last week. She was working on a book called The Silent Cry of a Mother. Although she will not be able to see justice served, Sheriff Rolls told me today they have uncovered new, new details in this case. Someone knows. Yeah, it's such a heartbreaking feeling. story for the mother to pass away and not see justice, but there is someone out there, and if 
you're out there watching, you should definitely come forward with information. Yeah, any, any new information I'm sure would be a blessing for the family. And you guys can call the Newton County Sheriff's Office at 409-379-3636 with any information about this case. Sat down like a baby. How emotional for her, the way she put that. Thank you very much.